Hi, my name is Dr. Heidi Prather. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I work at Westlake Dermatology in Austin, Texas. Today what I'd like to do is demo our Pico Care laser. Here it is. And this is an amazing piece of machinery. It's made in Korea by a company called Wantech. And what's wonderful about it is it's a traditional picosecond laser, but we can really toggle between different settings. So here we have our MLA handpiece. This is a multi-lens array. So what that means is it actually delivers a fractionated laser energy on the skin and it creates what we call LIOBs, which are just kind of small areas of laser injury isolated to the epidermis and superficial dermis, which are gonna help things like pigment, skin texture, and aging. And we are gonna use this today with our fabulous patient. He's already received two treatments. And what we've been focusing on is kind of a layered approach where we can treat not only the lentigines, so all of the small brown spots, but also, if you look closely, he has some patchy hyperpigmentation on the cheeks called melasma. And melasma is a pigmentation disorder that occurs due to sunlight and hormones. And we see it most commonly in women, especially with darker skin types, but can also be seen in men. And so this is commonly missed and underdiagnosed. So it's important to be aware of it, to recognize it, treat it properly, and educate patients on sun protection and using SPF regularly. We'll go ahead and pause here and we'll switch over to the treatments in just a second so we can put on laser safety eye care. All right, so we are back to start with our melasma portion of this treatment. Again, we're using our Pico Care device made by Wantech. And let's go ahead and look at the screen. I just wanna demonstrate just how easy it is to switch these settings. You can really increase energy without any recalibration, um, change the frequency or speed of the energy delivery, and even change the handpiece. So we have a 1064 wave like select it now. This device can change to a 532 and even a low energy 532, bringing the total joules down to 0.1 to make it safer for darker skin types if you ever wanna use the 532 for pigmented lesions. So we're gonna go back to our 1064. We're gonna to go to a low laser energy because for melasma, we want low heat, low energy on the skin. And our patient knows that we're planning on doing multiple treatments. So often you start to see results, sometimes as early as three treatments, but really can take six to 10 treatments spaced every three to four weeks. We have some cold air cooling the skin as we treat, but really this treatment doesn't hurt. Um, we do the cold air to keep heat off the skin because we know heat can flare melasma. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Everyone in the room has on laser protection. And one, two, three. You can just see how quiet and elegant this treatment is. We're moving the handpiece back and forth. This can be focused just on the patches of melasma or to the full face. I choose to treat the full face for this patient because we do have more pigment scattered everywhere. And ultimately we're gonna do two passes. And really the number of pulses is gonna be determined by the speed of the frequency of the laser, but also the handpiece and how you move it over the skin. How are you feeling right now? Very good. Is anything hurting? No. Easy breezy. We'll blend it into the forehead and we'll do the same thing to the other side of the face. I know you've received two treatments so far. Anything that you want to comment on and what you've noticed in terms of improvement? Um, after the first two treatments, comfort level or downtime? Yeah, there's uh, very little, there's no downtime. I, I, my skin felt great even right after the treatments. And I do think I noticed um, specifically my uh, blotches of melasma uh, lightening up a little bit or decreasing in size. So uh, very happy with the, just the first two. Excellent. And one of the things that's gonna be most important to the success of this treatment is good skin care. So we do have our patient on brighteners twice a day. We're using Discoloration Defense by SkinCeuticals just to help kind of brighten the skin. And we also have a prescription hydroquinone that we're using once a day just to 
create a little bit more protection, especially because we're in Texas, it can be really sunny. And of course we're using sunscreen every day. I recommend at least an SPF of 30 and a mineral-based formula. So that's with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. All right, so we're gonna switch gears here. To a pair of blue glasses. We'll give our camera woman a new pair of eye protection for this particular wavelength. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and reset the laser. this device is we can go in and target some of the freckling and what we want to do is keep the energy moderate for just a light whitening so we're just looking at our endpoint here and one two three again this tends to be more bright beautiful and we're just going to go through and do some spot treatments here to help with the overall tone and evenness. Because he does have a lot of freckling, um, he is a good candidate too for the fractionate at 532. You just want to be very careful using that in darker skin types because you can get some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation if you're not careful with your settings and your preventative skin care. I'll just move around and even everything out. Now for our patient, he does not want to remove all of his freckles, so we're not being overly aggressive, and it's also another reason that we're not doing more of a full face treatment to brighten it, but He's agreed to let me treat some of them because we're here, we have the technology and it's fun to use, don't you think? Beautiful. And this is just helping break up that pigment. While this treatment can improve lentigines with even one treatment, I usually prefer to treat it over two to three sessions to minimize any risk of post-inflammatory pigmentary change. Beautiful. All right. We will pause there. And I appreciate everyone watching this video. I hope you found it educational. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at Westlake Dermatology. Thank you.